All right, welcome back. So I've started this second pinch pot. It is almost the same size, although this one is a little bit bigger. So I'm going to continue kind of building it out because the, the lips of it aren't quite matching up yet. And I'm making these pinch pots a little bit on the thick side so that we can carve And these are also going to be spirit jars. So what I'm gonna have you do, if you're using regular clay that it's gonna be fired, like the face-to-face -face kits, um, we're going to make a wish, write down a wish or a prayer or something on a piece of paper, like a meditation sort of thing. And we're going to roll balls of clay into it so that the paper will fire um, I know the Native Americans used to do this practice that's called a spirit jar. And whatever's written on that paper, or whatever wish they put in there, um, would burn and go to the heavens. And so here, I've got, these are pretty good. I know it looks bad right now, but it's gonna work. So, let's see, I think on my paper, I'm going to wish, let's see, I pray that, COVID will go away and the vaccines work and don't make people sick later. All right, and then from here, I'm gonna take little tiny balls of clay make little beads this way. Make several of them. So when you wrap them in the paper, you've got to wrap them so that they don't stick. If you put them all together, they'll stick and then it won't sound as cool inside later. It doesn't even have to be perfect. I mean, they'll probably get smushed up anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on the inside here. Now, the next step is to make slip. This is really old slip and it's dried up, but I use, you can use water or you can use white vinegar. The white vinegar breaks down the clay and um, it will froth a little bit when you first put it in there, but it makes a really good slip. It actually helps the two clay bodies join together. If I can mix it up just a little bit more. You can kind of stand up so you can see better. So any of the, the clay turds or like excess clay, um, clay shavings, anything that's old and dry, you put vinegar on it, you can make a pretty good slip here. Now, next step is to score and slip the pinch pots. So I'm gonna take a fork or you can take for really fine things, you can take a needle tool like this, which I usually keep back behind my desk and you have to check it out. But I will use a fork on this. So when you score, that means you're gonna rough up the edges that are gonna be attached together. And the reason you rough these up, and it has to be kind of a deep score, don't do this. Don't try to be real gentle with it because it won't work. So because the clay particles are flat, you want them to be able to stick up and not flatten down. So I've got that one, and now I've got to score the other side here. And again, it's gonna get a little bit misshapen and you'll be able to shape it a little bit more after you put it together. And now I'm gonna take the slip that I, the slip and, um, the clay and vinegar mixture 
and I'm just gonna place it on the scored areas without pressing down. Because again, you want the clay to still be sticking up. Okay, and at this point, you push them together and you kind of wiggle it around a little bit so that they get a good connection. Now it's gonna look like kind of a screwed up hamburger kind of thing for, at first. And then just like when you have the ball, you can kind of tap it into the shape that you want it to be. So again, I'm taking my fingers this way. Now I'm gonna kind of go over. Might have put a little bit too much slip on here. It's getting kind of mushy. So, whew, it smells like a salad. So I'm gonna just continue um, kind of smoothing those edges so that that crack there where they form or they um, come together, it kind of disappears. I'm not pressing down hard. I'm just kind of scraping the surface with my thumb. And then from here, you can kind of hit the ball into the shape you want it to be. So if it's gonna be a mandala, you want it to be kind of, so you have like kind of a, a, a dome surface that you can decorate. And actually, since I can still, let's see, I wanna get rid of that line still. Can you see this a little bit? So when this fires, it's gonna rattle. You'll be able to kind of shake it up and um, rattle it. But we'll do a lot to it before then. Okay, now that, that the vinegar has absorbed a little bit, it's starting to be a little bit easier to, to smooth. So this takes a little bit of time. It's a little tedious for sure. If you still have like areas like this where it's not kind of, you can kind of see the crease a little bit, you can take a fork and cross hatch there and then smooth again. And that's that's one way that you can have that crease disappear. Okay, now for the very most important part of this process, crucial, because if you don't do this, your piece will explode and it will take other people's out with it. You absolutely have to get a needle tool like this and do one hole into it like that. All it needs is just one little pinhole for it not to explode. There has to be a way for that air to escape while it's in the kiln and heating. Okay, and then here you have a sphere. Two pinch pots, it's hollow and we will start drawing the mandala designs on here with the pencil tomorrow. And that'll be another segment of this assignment.